Hi, I'm Andrew Hare, an engineer on Marvel Heroes. We're really excited to show you controller support, which is a feature we've added for Marvel Heroes 2016. We have over 50 characters in Marvel Heroes. Whether it's a ranged, melee, or summoner hero, we want each of your favorite heroes to play great with the controller. Let's take a look at some of the features we've added for controller support. Hulk smash! Most players in Marvel Heroes use all eight powers on their power bar when playing with a mouse and keyboard. We wanted players to take full advantage of all their powers when using the controller, which is why we've added modifier keys. Modifier keys by default are the right and left trigger. When pressed, these modifier keys will highlight which powers are available to use on either side of the power bar. We've added a new target lock feature specifically for the controller to make it easier for players to target an enemy. When highlighting an enemy by facing them with the left analog stick, simply press the target lock button. An indicator will appear over the enemy you're locked onto. Now most of your powers will automatically be activated in that target's direction. You can find more targeting options in the gamepad menu. When loot is on the ground, you can use the right analog stick to select which piece of loot you want to pick up. Pressing the A button will place the item in your inventory. We've added a brand new menu to the game just for the controller. Simply press the start button on the controller to bring up the radio menu. Use the left analog stick to select which UI window you want to view. You can close any menu by pressing the start button on the controller. We've added menu mode so players can navigate menus and manage their inventory when using the controller. Use the left analog stick to control the cursor and the right analog stick to scroll up and down. Pressing the A button will act as a left click and pressing the B button will act as a right click. When viewing a UI window that has tabs, simply press the right and left bumper to switch between them. When a confirmation dialog appears, you can press and hold the A button to accept or confirm. Pressing B will cancel. You can switch between the mouse and keyboard and the controller at any time. We've added a new tab to the options menu called Gamepad Options. You can assign any button to almost any command in the game. Use the right stick to scroll down to the option you want and using the cursor, select which controller button you want changed. Hey, let's go kick some butts. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out Marvel Heroes 2016 with controller.